I have this one. So good morning, everyone. As Tuka said already, I'm with Ambition. I'm leading the UI UX team there. And um, today, uh, I would like to, to tell you the story. What actually possible and what kind of user interface possible to, to create with Qt. But before, uh, I know in this audience we have uh, uh, my colleagues from our Daimler UI team from all the locations as well as partners uh, teams. So guys, I would ask you to stand up for, for a second. Don't be shy. Stand up. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you all. So, <clears throat> and before going to, uh, to my fancy, uh, fancy slides, let's maybe start with this short video. <laughs> Game is back. Oh, yeah. Hi, Mercedes. Yes, please. I want some German bread. Please select an entry. I am a Mercedes, too hot in here. Can we make it more East Coast? I am setting the temperature to 62 degrees. Why is there a wedding chapel in your suggestions? I am a Mercedes. Navigate me to what three words? Drive, single, beast. <laughs> Hi, Mercedes. Where did Jeff drive us last night? Tattoo shop, Las Vegas. <gasps> yeah. So, beginning of this year in Las Vegas at CES, we have presented uh, our new infotainment system called MBUX, the Mercedes Benz uh, user experience. And in the next couple of minutes, I, I would like to go through key, key elements of, of the system. So, and also a few weeks later, after the announcement of the MBUX, we also presented our first car line, the new A-Class, which was the first car with the MBUX on board. So the <coughs> MBUX provides uh, the MBX provides a uh, uh, set of uh, uh, really great features. It's really easy to use. It understands natural language. And uh, it, uh, uh, it gives the ability for artificial intelligence. And for sure, that's uh, updatable over the air. And uh, let's start from the very basics. So we wanted to give our customers different way to, to control the system so you can operate with touch screen or touch pad on the steering wheel or the touch pad uh, in the central console or uh, basically with voice. And that's pretty much intuitive. You simply swiping left and right, up and down, you can pretty much access the, the full functionality uh, of entire infotainment. And having uh, this in mind, we also uh, provided with the best graphics. We have powerful NVIDIA chipset. And uh, with this feature, which is, by the way, a lot of people like to, to uh, play around, that's not only fancy, something fancy on, uh, uh, on the infotainment screen. This is how you can navigate uh, through the system functions, quite intuitively and, and easily. Going next, we wanted also our customers uh, to feel the car as personal as possible. So, and for that, we also provide with the wide variety of, of possibilities. Our customers may access, uh, uh, may access the, uh, uh, the settings for uh, seat position, for ambient light, for instance, for the driver experience, and for sure for UI. 
So unfortunately today we don't have too much time, so I, I can't show you everything, but the overall cockpit experience could look like this, or maybe like this, or like this. So what you prefer the most? Next, I would like to talk a little bit about magic. And I will start from artificial intelligence. The system can learn from, from the users uh, and it can provide with suggestion exactly at the right time and at the right place what you may need. Meaning, if you're driving in the evening home, the system can suggest, hey, call your spouse, saying like, I'm at, I'm at home in 10 minutes, or maybe some cozy restaurant for the evening, uh, or your favorite playlist. So it also depends, depends on you, depends on what you expect and how you use the system. And the last highlight for, for today uh, is the natural speech understanding. So with that, uh, you don't need to memorize anymore the long list of comments, thinking, OK, these comments related to the radio, these comments related to the navigation, these uh, uh, comments relate to some, something else. So you can chat with your car in pretty much natural way, uh, simply giving your needs or, or emotions or feelings like, hey, I'm, I'm freezing cold. And what you will get as a feedback, the temperature of your climate will be increased. Or you can say, hey, I would like to get in touch with, with some uh, friend or, or mom or whatever. So, and the system will dial, uh, uh, dial you in. So <clears throat> what I want to touch upon next, that was pretty much about what we did. And uh, in the next few minutes, uh, I'm, I'm going to cover why and, and how. So at the very first place, we wanted to, to surprise our customers, to give them emotions, to, to capture their feelings, and, and so on. So <clears throat> therefore, we built around our customers the entire process, starting from simulation and concepts on how the entire system may behave or how particular applications may look like. Uh, then we uh, drill it down this concept to, to the feature list, applied great design on top, created our own software in-house with uh, our great partners, and eventually tested this software in the vehicle. And the crucial point uh, of all these uh, iterations that at each and every step, we wanted to get feedback from our customers to make the system better and better. And what's happening now, uh, we went through multiple challenges. And we are constantly expanding and extending our MBUX family. As I mentioned before, in the very beginning of the year, we have presented the new A class. Then the Sprinter followed, then the B class. In the meantime, A class AMG came as well our brand new and fully electrical vehicle EQC, and the youngest member, the new, <coughs> new GLE. So you may say, looks great, but how you guys are going to surprise us in the, uh, surprise us in the future? So we ultim ultimately want our customers to use infotainment uh, uh, software instead of mobile device uh, while in the car. You're probably pretty much familiar with the picture above. So yesterday, uh, we were driving with my colleagues in the evening and wanted to, uh, to take a shot of another car just here in, in Berlin. So apparently, we failed taking the picture at night in motion using smartphone, but as a matter of fact, uh, really a lot of people using currently uh, their mobile devices stick it to the dashboard or to, win to the windshield uh, or whatsoever, and 
we would like to, to avoid this. So what does this mean for us? That means that we do understand that we are not in automotive uh, sector or automotive environment anymore. Uh, which means we have, uh, we build software and we need to consider the, what, what other companies are doing on, on the market. And for, to achieve that, we are constantly improving our MBUX, making it faster, more intuitive, even more intelligent, and this is technology-wise. But what is also essential, that beside technology, we want to bring all the innovations to the market, in the vehicle, to the roads, as fast as possible. And for that, we also constantly looking uh, for improvement of our collaboration model with partners. With that said, some people say like one demo worth thousand words. So we, we have brought today for you our first family member, the new A-Class, which is downstairs in the lobby. So feel free to visit us there and, and check live how, how the system behaves. So this is completely normal car. That's not something really custom built or, uh, or unique. This is something what you can uh, buy now from the dealerships. With that, thank you, and hope to see you uh, at our booth downstairs.